Hello Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be your reading for the week of the 19th going to the 25th of July. Um, let's talk about it. I see some of you are actually going to get a car by the way this week. Either that or you're saving for it now. Um, I can see plans of driving somewhere. Now, wherever it is that you're going to be driving, it feels like a, either a trip here or you're going to visit someone that you haven't seen for a while. Anything else? All right, I'm hearing yellow flowers are gonna be a symbol of good luck and love this week for you specifically, Gemini, okay? Someone likes yellow flowers and I can smell them as I'm speaking about them. How divine, right, let's talk about it. So for you, Gemini, and for the air signs this week, I did get a bit of a devil energy coming up around you. Now, this is something that has been in your life for a little while, so you're used to it, so don't worry about it. <laughs> this is something that we are uh, used to, but we're going to be detaching from. This could be a person in particular. This person is extremely angry. They have a lot of issues, okay? Uh, alcohol is involved with that. Um, there's something about this person that is lingering around you, whether they're in your life um, or whether it's just something that it's like a bit of PTSD, maybe. I feel like we're actually detaching from that now. We're pulling the plug away from this person, whether they're in our life or, uh, or not. We're now actually able to detach from them and break free. Now, if it's not a person, by the way, this could be, I was getting heavily like family members, partners, and well, spouses in particular. Um, and bosses were well, the three things that really came to mind here maybe even friends i don't know here gemini but it was mainly those three um what i was seeing yes we're detaching from it some of you are getting divorced from this person or have been divorced from this person it was the best thing that you have done is one thing i want to say they really meant that there um i want to also say this could also be devil energy fears within ourselves okay this can be bad habits bad traits addictions in our life that we also are detaching from within this week so ultimately it's good maybe these are things like that make us angry things that trigger us things that make us go to a low vibration that we don't necessarily need this is something that we are moving away from we're learning to detach from we're also learning how to do that shadow work through whatever this is that's going to be coming out for you within this week i see clarity and inspiration coming in in terms of work in terms of your everyday routines which feels good i feel progress is on the way for you and also uh for some of you it will be income all right coming in for you within this week as well um spirit was ushering you to be creative you know uh do what you enjoy to do and, and do it with passion um there was a story where is this no matter what it is that you're doing be the best person doing that in the world right it's really about making sure that you stand out now regardless of what you do if you have ambition determination and you have passion for work in general you're very likely to get scouted or someone's going to pay attention to you and say huh like this this person's really good at what they do i would love to have them on my team and you can actually find yourself working up on that level so don't be small-minded here gemini this week i feel like you can potentially find something out of this world almost like completely out of you never thought that this would happen but it will if you decide to do what you love be creative with it and you might find an abundance coming away with that um because specifically for some of you there's what in terms of work and passion it's almost like this is what i enjoy to do but i can't see it going anywhere or this is what i want enjoy to do and i'd like to make a business out of it or I'd like to pursue it but i can't make the money in time or i just can't imagine myself getting a lot from it or there's there's something that is like counteracting this blessed idea and i think it's time to remove that okay and just kind of go with it you'll be very surprised at how much if you enjoy something that much um it, how it can um come back around again and, and benefit you so anyways let's let's talk about something else <laughs> let's see what's happening for gemini for the week first sign coming up here we have the first card should i say here gemini is the knight of swords coming through here which does talk about incoming message or an income incoming opportunity speaking of income i do see something happening for you right 
I feel like some of you could potentially be getting an offer in terms of a contract here, which looks quite good. It feels very fair, very balanced, and I do think it's a very stable opportunity for you. So I would say go for it. For a lot of you, this is that cutting cords that we had earlier. You know, this is about maybe divorce for some of you. This is about cutting away anything that causes an imbalance in your life and removing yourself from it straight away as soon as you spot it, right? Whether it's within ourselves or within other people, this is about removing yourself from situations situations that don't serve you okay um you're showing me your nails again was it your last time that i could see you painting your nails do you bite your nails as well don't do that <laughs> don't do that i actually for a tip for people who bite their nails um if you actually get supplements for your well there's ones that i use i'm gonna put it in the description box if i remember that I actually use for my hair, but it helps with my nails. Now, I used to bite the shit out of my nails. However, they actually became stronger by the supplement that I was using, and now they're like long as, this is the longest they've ever been in my life. I never ever could let them grow this way, but because I didn't feel the need to bite them, because they weren't brittle anymore. Anyways, just a top tip for those of you who want to come out of that habit. Um, what else do I see coming up for you? I do actually see money coming in for you, by the way. This is either a bonus, this is um, a new opportunity to make new income, or this is just about being stable in life. I really do feel like um, by paying attention to what we're giving our time and energy to on a daily basis, we can actually become very, very stable in our foundation, very much in control of our situation and what's going on around us, within us, and everything like that. This is going to lead you towards that success. For some of you, this is great in terms of starting your own business. Anything that you are investing in around this time also looks quite good here, Gemini. There's a lot going on for you. What the heck? <laughs> but this is ultimately where we want to be, you know, the emperor. We want to be in control of everything in our life that we can control, not things outside of our control control all right but things that are in our control this is where we're going to find a very very good foundation now for some of you if you have created a plan about where your life is going to be going it feels like a new plan this looks really good i like it spirit likes it just stick to it there's <laughs> one thing i wanted to just stick to it though gemini i think by sticking to a routine sixth house energy and fourth house energy especially in the home this looks really, really good for you. This is the perfect foundation that we want to build for something like this, right? Discipline, control, order. If you want to see growth, stepping into that masculine energy, regardless of gender, this is what is going to be very beneficial to you within this week to create a good foundation for the feminine energy to feel safe around, to, to blossom on top of that foundation, you know? Um, that's kind of how it works. If anyone didn't know, um, it's the masculine energy that builds a foundation and the feminine energy is what is able to blossom because of that. And that's where abundance comes in. So whatever foundations you are building, any plans that you are deciding to take action on and, and bring an idea to life, this is amazing because you will start to see abundance coming your way uh, when you are in this yin and yang energy, okay? Anything else for Gemini for the week? Ten of Cups, so happiness is coming in for you. I do feel like this is because, yeah, some of you it is going to be in terms of love and relationships. Uh, this is to do with other people, all right? So spending time with others who are good for you is going to be very beneficial to you. Some of you are going to be taking a leap of faith or a spontaneous trip with um, a lover, with someone you have a close connection to, right? This feels like a soulmate. Doesn't have to be a love interest and a romantic partner, but definitely has a lot to do with people who you generally really care about. People who have been brought into your life for a reason. People who you click with. People who you feel like there's so many similarities with. People who you really care about and they care about you. This is a very beautiful uh, relationship that could potentially blossom if it is a love interest. But if it's a friendship, the same thing applies here. We're taking a leap of faith in something um, with someone, maybe even a trip. Again, I did say that, so I'm going to say it again. <laughs> yeah, Ace of Swords. This feels good. There's a lot of truth coming in. There could be, again, um, an open conversation coming up for you here, Gemini, in terms of this person. Um, let's clarify. What is it that we're going to be speaking about? Knight of Pentacles. Could even be moving for some of you. Um, because we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Which is about forward movement, absolutely. But it's about, you know, um, I'm really getting moving with someone. Gemini. This feels good. I think it's going to make you very happy, though. 
this could even be in working together if it's any group projects again this looks good we're getting an invitation to join someone on some kind of endeavor that's what it feels like and it's very solid this is a loyal card by the way dedicated in it for the long run you know this feels very very good for you i like it what else do i need to say <laughs> just come out of your head a little bit here i really think it's important to make sure that we're not kind of i don't want to call it excuses well just make sure we're not making excuses but it's more what i'm seeing in this card is more to do with uh being so up in your head about but what if and what if this and you know what if it doesn't work out or you know there's a lot that you're investing into something here but i feel like we need to come out of the fear mindset because whatever this is intuitively over time things are going to balance out and you are going to gain that victory that you are wanting from the situation from a group project okay from a relationship or a, a partnership with somebody here and it is going to go quite quickly as soon as it hits something like a if it's a business i'm almost kind of seeing equilibrium is that what it is <laughs> yeah <laughs> like uh that stage of where there's no losses it's, it's really weird gemini but i can see where you're able to kind of even if it's not to do with the business could even be like uh overcoming debt you know overcoming things that we're in the minuses we're now able to kind of reach that zero now we're able to build up from the top this is a solid plan 11 11 as i said that i just realized you can't you guys can't even see that the timer at the top so <laughs> there we go um i feel like this is really good um we're moving on a really nice direct path it may take a while i will say this is one of the slowest moving nights so it might take a while but this is what gives it the longevity and gives it the stability that it has every seed that you're planting along the way here gemini does matter even the smallest of habits that you are creating for yourself whether it's exercising whether it is just eating healthier whether it is i don't know waking up a little bit earlier here gemini or just treating yourself every now and again as part of a routine this feels good you don't need to like throw a good like a big routine on yourself i'm looking at this card as i say it we can juggle little little things and every single day get better at them and then add another one when we're ready. Feels like some of us is like when we're juggling something, someone's throwing something else in. Whatever this is, I see growth happening for you, okay? Absolutely, they say, absolutely. It feels good. I'm getting Marilyn Monroe for some reason. I don't know why. I just feel like I could see that famous picture in my mind, right? We have the high priestess coming through here. Ooh. Ah, well, this feels amazing. Look at this. Whatever we intuitively are trying to manifest here, trying to bring into our reality with the magician here. Very, very powerful stuff. A lot of you are very in tune, okay, to yourself within this week, especially, and what it is that we're wanting, what we're desiring, what we emotionally need. And we're fulfilling those needs with the Queen of Cups. Again, more intuition coming in. Nine, uh, nine of cups coming in saying that you are going to find wish fulfillment with whatever you are manifesting it's going to make you feel exceptionally good within this week as well i mean this could be a love interest coming through here it could be a um cancer pisces scorpio or another gemini or an aries but i'm seeing us manifesting something here i feel like intuitively we know something and it's coming out this week and it's something that we manifested, something that we really wanted coming to life. And you can see all the stars around her. This is about wish fulfillment, most definitely. Um, some of you, I don't, I, I don't know why I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna say this, but some of you are reaching the weight that you wanted to reach. I see, some of you actually go to groups for this. Um, what else can I see? i think a lot of you if you want to tap into this you are very gifted now i felt that for your reading but they're just pointing it out to me now i feel like um you can see oh some of you are medium some of you can channel in spirits and you hear them and you can speak to them and you can contact them if you wish obviously uh, you are if you consent then they will come through um meditation can help you connect to that by the way anything else
mm, is that devil energy coming through and this card through okay so we're healing from whatever this is this is good this is shadow work by the way guys this is traumas stresses that we went through from a young age we are moving away from that now um we need to make a conscious decision to make sure that we're not exactly directly connected to somebody who may have caused this for us of course we it's good to forgive and understand where these people come from but try not to hold it in your energy because this deep healing is from someone who did keep you stuck, bounded, uh, codependent on them, or there was just a lot of possessiveness or controlling uh, energy involved with the devil. Gemini, what did you go through? The great thing about it is you are going to come out of this, absolutely. It just takes time. Don't be harsh on yourself, okay? Don't be frustrated. It takes a while to come out of old habits, old traits, and to heal from things that were traumatizing for us, okay? You let yourself, give yourself some credit here, okay? Now, any confusion in terms of inspiration and any ideas, I feel like in a meditative state or through listening to our emotions, we're actually going to find uh we ask the manifestation but almost like a new idea which is going to lead us towards inspiration uh and stuff like that any confusion that has been i feel like you making a choice is going to be the right choice and you are going to be able to lead forward with this and create something really amazing from it okay extremely amazing remember how we had all these great cards this is a good week for you this is a really good week for you don't let your mind tell you otherwise that's the only thing i can see that's not great everything else is amazing everything else is amazing and you're moving away from this more and more every single day so i'm proud of you gemini you're you're doing good you're healing yourself you're i don't want to say fixing yourself because i don't think you need fixing i just feel like you need time and you're doing good okay um it's going to be some inspiration in the night time listen to those ideas right whether that's whether that is dreams or whether that is just during the night you can't sleep and there's ideas going around, write them all down because I think that some of these you can actually pursue and uh, really um, uh, embark on. I think it could be very good for you. Okay? My angels, a lot of uh, stuff is coming up for you this week. I feel like the air signs have a very busy and quick week coming up, but um, I wish you all the best. I love you. I will see you guys next week. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and thank you so much for spending some time with me appreciate you and I will see you next week <laughs>